I have this crazy story to tell. And I'm gonna uh, tell it while I'm driving. Anyways, uh, let me try to put my phone somewhere that I could uh, record and keep my hands on the steering wheel. The story is really simple, but kind of screwed up. My friend yesterday at work, well, she's not my friend. I guess she's my coworker. She told me a story about her grandmother. Her grandmother got a call one weekend night, like Saturday or Friday night, of somebody that said, hi, I'm Sarita. That's the name of my coworker. Hi, I'm Sarita. But probably she didn't say it like that. But anyway, she pretended to be Sarita. And then Sarita said, Grandma, I'm in jail. I have a bad cold and I got in jail for drunk driving and I ran a stop sign and I'm in jail and I have a cold, I don't feel good and I need out. And apparently someone else got on the phone and said, yeah, we need $4,000 so she could get out of jail on the weekend. So grandma sent $4,000 through the courier. And I think on YouTube, I can't say the courier's name. But anyways, $4,000 cash in an envelope. So it was on the weekend. And then my friend Sarita called the courier and said, my grandma, she got scammed out of $4,000. And of course, my friend Sarita told the courier, which is a popular courier, that a movie uh, Castaway uh, was part of that courier crew. So to make a long story short, she called the courier and said, my grandma was scammed out of $4,000. It's in an envelope and here's the tracking number. So they tracked the envelope. And they said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, get the envelope. We're going to intercept it. And after we intercept it, we'll get the money for you and send it. But the courier said, oh, you send cash? $4,000 cash? Oh, we're going to have to send you a check after we get the envelope. So a couple hours passed by. And my friend, Sarita, got a call from the courier company. And they said, we found the envelope. We intercepted it. But there's not $4,000 in it. It's a bunch of envelopes inside of an envelope. So between the time that Sarita called the courier company and getting the envelope intercepted, they found it and it was already, the cash was gone in exchange for some envelopes. I probably didn't tell the story very well, but the moral of the story is, tell your grandma not to get scammed, and if your grandma's gonna think that you're in jail, then you better keep in touch with grandma, because someone's gonna call and pretend it's you, and have them send thousands of dollars cash through the courier. Don't send cash. Send a check you can cancel and don't go to jail. And please keep in touch with grandma and let her know that you're not, not in any trouble. And if you're in trouble, that you're not gonna call her and try to get $4,000 cash that's gonna get stolen. So watch out for scammers and don't be scammed.
I hope this story kind of helped you, give you a little bit of insight about what happens to elderly people that love their grandkids. Stay out of trouble and watch out for scammers. And if you are a scammer, good luck.